I have completed swatch one with the snake logo to test my design for a blanket. And this is what it looks like. Now, it's hard to see because it is black, but this is a garter stitch with a stockinette. And I made my swatch bigger. It's not your traditional swatch because I wanted to get a a feel of the design and I didn't use all the colors for the snake so that I can actually have a basic swatch because swatching takes time also. So there's 40 stitches casted on. And the little bit of a concern I have about the garter ridge is I'm wondering if it'll get pulled in. I know that it's only because it is small, but this is what it looks like because it's a little heavier here with all the, the pulling on the back. And I don't want that to pull within my knitting. Um, you can also uh, block it um, in the end to have it form and hopefully it won't. But there will be other colors in here, which means the stranded knitting will have more colors in there. So, so far, I actually though, I really like the garter stitch. And the reason why I like using a garter stitch in a lot of my knitting is because time is of the essence. Knitting is so time consuming that a lot of the intricate designs that I would love to work on takes time. And that's a great example of the shawl that I had made. Um, pictures are on Instagram and I did three of those, but I didn't stream them because it is really hard to stream the entirety of that. So anything complex in knitting takes a lot of time. So I'm trying to figure out ways, especially for custom orders, to make a little more simplistic pattern and knitting stitches to be less time, like to have a less time frame on it instead of it being, you know, like knitting really consumes a lot of your time. And I'm trying to be efficient, but you also want to be effective and you also want to have the stitch appeal when designing anything. So I'm keeping a lot of those things in mind when I knit. Um, so I am still going to do a stockinette stitch because I want to see how the edge is going to look compared to the garter stitch. Now with the, the stockinette, it rolls. So the pattern is going to have a garter edging to it because the garter edge helps the stockinette to not roll. So the stockinette's going to be garter and then all stockinette. This is garter and stockinette. And see how nice it stays flat on its own because it is a garter stitch. So I don't have to worry about adding the garter and then doing the stockinette. And that's part of the reason why also I want to do the entirety of the blanket with the garter with the stockinette. That way I don't have to do stockinette and remember, have my stitch markers and remember to do the garter before I do the stockinette. So if you're a knitter or if you're learning to knit, these are some of the things that I think about when it comes to knitting because it really is time consuming, especially the designing process to it. And um, designing it along with swatches, along with actually knitting it up can take hours to do. So keeping that in mind, it's still nice even though swatches take time, it, it's really good to have a visual of what your knitting is going to look like. And for instance, I can see the designing has flaws. Um, so my husband's helping me in the designing process. And so he's going to work on um, the designing of the snake to implement into the blanket which means it has to be centered. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the second swatch. It's gonna be all stockinette, and then we will make our pick on which design to use. And this also gives knitters, especially the ones trying to do stranded knitting, 
in different variations of stranded knitting will also get an idea of what different stitches look like and what to choose when they do their knitting. So let's get started on the second swatch. All right. So the usual, um, you can cast on whatever method that you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and do the long tail cast on. That is my main method of knitting, of casting on. So let's cast on 40 stitches. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add uh, and cast on 40 stitches. Let's get this going. All right. I'm going to cast on 40 stitches. So let's go ahead and cast on 40 stitches. And 40. All right, let's make sure there's 40 stitches. 40. Row one, I'm going to knit all the way across. Just knit all the way across. Okay. Row two, knit across. Row three, I'm just knitting across. This is your garter border. All right, row four, we're continuing with the garter border so the stockinette doesn't curl. So we are going to knit two stitches, purl 36. This is your stockinette starting. Okay, 36, and then knit the last two for your garter ridge border. Okay. Row five, I'm just going to go ahead and knit across. Row six, knit two black, purl 14 black, I'm going to add on the green, purl three green, one, two, Okay, purl three black, one, two, three, purl two green, purl 
pearl, 14 black. One, two, 13, 14, and then knit the last two stitches. Okay. Row seven, knit 15 black. One, and 15. Three green, knit three green, one, two, and three. Knit three black, one, two, and three. Knit three green, one, two, and three. Knit sixteen black. One, sixteen. Row eight, knit two black. One, two, pearl, fourteen black. One, Fourteen, purling three green, one, two, and three, purl three black, one, two, and three, pearl three green, one, two, and three, pearl thirteen black, one, and then knit the last two, one, and two. Row nine, knit 14 black. One, fourteen, three green, one, two, and three. Knit five black, one, two, three, four, and five. Knit three green, one, two, and three. Knit fifteen black, one, and fifteen. Row ten, knit two black, one, two, pearl thirteen black. Thirteen, pearl one green, pearl nine black, one, nine, 
pearl one green pearl 12 black one twelve and knit the last two one and two row eleven knit fourteen black one two Fourteen, one green, knit ten black, one, and ten, one green, fourteen black. One, fourteen, row twelve, knit two black, one, two, pearl twelve black. One, twelve, pearl one green, pearl eleven black, one, eleven, one green, Pearl eleven black one two ten eleven knit two one and two row thirteen knit thirteen black one And thirteen. Knit one green, knit twelve black, one, twelve, knit one green, knit thirteen black, one. Thirteen. Row fourteen, knit two black, pearl eleven black, one, eleven, pearl one green, Pearl one black, pearl one green, pearl eleven black, one eleven. Pearl one green, pearl ten black, one, nine, ten, and then knit two, one, and two. Row fifteen, knit twelve black, one, eleven. And twelve. Knit one green, 
knit one black, knit one green, knit nine black, one, nine, one green, and 15 black, one, and 15. So after consideration, see how this gives more and see how this kind of didn't. I am going to go with the stockinette hands down. As I'm knitting this up, I definitely see there's a more elasticity to the knitting. And this part here might give a little better. So this would take some, I mean, I can always do something, test knit that on something else for myself, but it gives more even here. It's definitely stretches here, but then as you go, it's not as much of a give. So I like the way the stockinette looks with the stockinette stitch. And so for Poison's Blanket, aka John, I'm going to go ahead and definitely use the stockinette stitches and I think that's going to make the blanket look really really well. I'll go ahead and finish up the swatch to get my stitch count, my row count. So I'll definitely finish this swatch and then I will start the blanket. Row 16, knit two black. One and two. Three Pearl 10 black. One. And 10. That green needs to float a little closer. So the row down below, it should have went a little closer down. Pearl one green. Pearl two black. Pearl one green. Pearl nine black. One. Two and nine. Pearl one green. Pearl two black. Pearl one green. Pearl nine black. One, two, nine, and then knit two black. One and two. Row 17, knit 11 black. One, 11, one green, two black, one green, three black, one, two, and three, one green, five black, two green, two black, one green, 11 black, 1, and 11. Row 18, knit 2 black, pearl 9 black, okay. pearl 1 green, pearl 2 black, Pearl two green, Pearl five black, Pearl one green, Pearl three black, one. 
here. Three. Pearl two green. One and two. Pearl two black. Pearl one green. Pearl eight black. Knit two black. Okay. Row 19, knit 10 black. One and 10. One green, two black, two green, four black. One green, four black, two green, two black, one green, and eleven black. One. 11. Row 20. Knit two black. Pearl eight black. Two. Eight. Pearl one green. Pearl two black. Pearl three green, pearl four black, one, pearl one green, pearl four black, pearl two green, now pearl two black, pearl one green, Pearl eight black, and then knit the last two. You can see the difference, the way the elasticity works with the stockinette. It gives you more give. This one, not so much. And then it has more holes here, which would have to be implemented slip stitches. So I'm definitely going to go with the stockinette. I was just, I had envisioned this and I just wanted to see if it would actually turn out. There'd be a lot more alterations to do to this. So I know stockinette works and I've done stockinette before. So since this is a custom order, I'm going to go with the stockinette for sure. And if I wanted to work on something like this, this will be more of a practice knit to figure out how I would implement um, the stranded knitting in um, with the way the holes are kind of coming on that side and see how it's staying neat on this side and this one I don't have to worry about doing any slip stitches or anything and it literally holds the stitches in place even though there's stranded knitting in the stockinette it holds more secure of a stitch than creating a hole. Row 21, knit nine black. One. Eight. Nine. One green. Three black, we're knitting. Two green, four black, one green, four black, Three green, two 
to black, one green, and 10 black, and 10. Row 22, knit two black, Pearl eight, eight, one green, pearl two black, pearl three green, Pearl nine black, seven, eight, and nine. Pearl three green, pearl two black, pearl one green. Pearl seven black, and then knit the last two in black. Row 23, knit nine black. One, nine, one green, two black, one green, one black, one green, nine black, one green, four black, one green, and 10 black. Row 24, knit two black, Pearl seven black, seven, pearl one green. Now I'm purling 20 black, one, 20, two green, six black. And then knit two. Okay. Row 25, knit six black. One and six. Knit one green. Knit one black. Knit one green. Knit one black. Knit five green, knit 10 black, one and 10, knit four green, one and four, knit one black, knit four green, Knit six black. Row 26, knit two black. One and two. Pearl three black. One, two, three. Pearl 10 green. One, and 10. Okay, pearl one black, pearl one green, pearl six black, one, six, pearl one green, 
pearl to black. Pearl four green. Pearl one black. Four green. I purled three black and now I'm going to knit two green. Row 27, knit four black, one and four, one green, one black, eight green, one, eight, one black, three green, one, two, three, four black, three green, one black, four green, four, one black, four green, knit five black. Row 28, knit two black, purl two black, purl five green, Just purled one black and I purled four green. Purl one black. Purl 21 green. 21. Purl two black. And then knit the last two black. Row 29. Knit four black. One, two, three, and four. Knit 32 green. One, 32. And then knit four black. One, two, three, and four. Row 30. Knit two black. One, two, Pearl two black, one and two, pearl thirty two green, one, thirty two, pearl two black. And knit two black. Okay. Row 31, knit five black and five, knit 30 green, one, and 30. Knit five black, one, and five. So as you can see, with the garter stitch, it goes in. So the stranded knitting is pulling it in. It's pulling it tighter. With the stockinette, it's laying flat. So this is what I want in my knitting. This is what I don't want in my knitting. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the stockinette pattern going. And that'll be part of John's blanket by the stockinette. It has more elasticity and it doesn't... See, this one doesn't have the elasticity that I want. So I want a cleaner finish when I'm knitting, especially for a custom order. So I'm not going to use this one, but I wanted to have a visual of what it would look like. And that's part of the importance of swatches.
That way you're not taking out all your knitting by just knitting it up. I know it's so exciting though. Let's just knit, let's just do this. But when you're designing, it's so important to give it a try rather than taking out your stitches and your work and reconfiguring every design that you have as you just continue to knit something and you were hoping to make it like your first choice of a knitting project. It's better to uh, keep up with swatches and and do any any designing that needs to be fixed throughout your work before you actually do the bigger project of it. Row 32, knit two black. Pearl four black. And four. Pearl four green. One and four. Pearl two black. Pearl 16 green, 16, pearl 3 black, 1, 3, pearl 3 green, 1, 2, and 3, pearl 4 black, 1, 4, and then knit 2 black. Row 33, knit 7 black, 7, 3 green, 4 black, 11 green, 1, 11, knit 4 black, Knit four green, knit seven black. Row thirty four, knit two black, pearl five black, one and five. Pearl four green, one and four. Pearl one black, pearl two green, pearl two black, pearl nine green, one, nine, one black, pearl three green, one, two, three, pearl one black, pearl three green, pearl five black, and knit two green. Row 35, knit seven black, one and seven, three green, one black, knit three green, knit one black, knit four green, Knit one black, knit seven green, knit two black, knit one green, knit one black, knit two green. Knit one black, knit two green, knit eight black, eight. 
row 36, knit two black, one and two, purl six black, and six, purl two green, purl one black. Pearl three green, pearl two black, pearl nine green, pearl two black, pearl two green, pearl one black. Pearl two green, pearl six black, one, six, and then knit the last two, one and two. Row 37, knit eight black, one, eight, knit two green, one, two, knit one black, knit one green, knit three black, knit ten green, and ten. Two black. One green, two black, two green, eight black, one, eight. Row 38, knit two black, pearl seven black. Pearl seven, one, Seven, pearl two green, one, two, pearl three black, one, two, and three, pearl thirteen green, one, thirteen. Pearl three black, pearl two green, pearl six black, one, six, and then knit the last two black, one and two. Row 39, knit eight black, one, Eight, knit eight green, one, eight, knit one black, knit five green, one, two, three, four, and five, one black, eight green, one, Eight, nine black, one, nine. Row 40, knit two black, one, two, pearl seven black, one, seven. Pearl seven green, one and seven, pearl one black, pearl three green, one, two, three, 
pearl, one black, pearl, three green, one, two, three, pearl, one black, pearl, seven green, one, And seven, pearl, six black, one, six, and I'm going to knit the last two, one and two. Row 41, knit eight black, one, eight, knit six green, one, six, knit two black, one, two, knit three green, one, two, three, knit one black, knit three green, one, two, three, knit two black, one, two, knit six green, one, six, knit nine black, one, and nine. Row 42, knit two black, pearl eight black, knit one, knit two, pearl eight black, one, eight, pearl, four green, one, two, three, four, pearl, three, black, one, two, three, pearl, three, green, one, two, three, pearl, one, black, one, pearl, three, green, one, two, three, pearl, three, black, one, two, three, pearl, four, green, one, two, three, and four, pearl, seven, black, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two black. One, two. Row 43, knit nine black. One, nine, knit two green, one, two, knit six black, one, six, two green, one black, two green, six black, two, six, Knit two green, cut the green off, knit ten black, one and ten. Row 44, knit two of the black. Pearl 36 black. One, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, and knit the last two. One and two. Row forty-five, we are knitting a cross. Knit all the way across.
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. <laughs> Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, <laughs> thirty-five, thirty-six. All right, forty made it to the end. Row forty-six. Woo! Woo! The last row of the second swatch. Let's go. I'm going to knit all the way across. Just knit all the way across. And then you can bind off. All right, now I'm going to bind off and my swatch will be done. All right, let's bind off. Bind off, bind your knitting off. Bind off, we're almost done. And that'll be it for this swatch. Watch and see as I take off a stitch off the knitting needle. There goes the yarn all into stitches. We made a swatch. Did you watch? We had some yarn. We didn't knit a barn, but we knitted a snake. And it's not fake stitches. I got an itch to knit. I had to sit. My yarn didn't split. I got a lot of wit. I should get bit, but instead I knit it. <laughs> All right, I'm almost done to the end. Just binding off. All right, we can cut off the black. We're gonna knit a knot. All right, just secure your knot. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and, mm, did I put it back? I'm gonna weave in my ends. I'm just gonna weave in my ends now. Okay, weave in my other ends. And this is the last end to weave in. And then my swatch will be done. All right, I have completed the other swatch. I knitted two swatches. I wanted to see what a garter stitch with a stockinette 
and a full stockinette was going to look like for the custom blanket I'm making for Poison. His name is John. And I'm designing his logo within the blanket. I only did two colors so I can make it go a little quicker to see which one I preferred to knit with. And the stitches that I am going to use, I'm going to go with the stockinette. Because as you can see, it's not forming correctly the way I want it to. This has more stretch, more give, and it's securing the stockinette inside a lot better. And as you can see, it's forming within the stockinette of the logo. This is shorter and it's dipping in on the side with the garter stitches. So the garter stitches is not holding up how I want to. And there's a little more holes forming where this is consistently knit, knit, knit it neatly all the way through. So I'm going to go with the stockinette for the logo for my blanket. All right, so now I'm ready to start knitting up the blanket, but first I have to correct any errors there are within the swatch for the design and implement the other colors that go with it. So I can start a little portion of the blanket and then I will start the rest of it once this is designed and centered within the blanket. So now I can calculate my stitches in my rows to get me to where I need to be to start knitting the logo within the blanket and to make it centered. All right, everyone, like, subscribe, happy knitting, and have a good day. See everyone next time. Bye for now.